Hi and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more interesting tips and tutorials. Hi and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you new way how you can finish your edge. Let's start. First of all take a cardboard, our flower and circle our flower to the cardboard as we always do with our brushes and make a line smaller than our flower as our cardboard should be smaller cut it out When it's ready, we take a glue, put the glue on your embroidery, then to the cardboard, leave it for a couple of seconds, let the glue dry a bit, and connect parts together this way. Take a leather, eco leather or felt, what you have at home. Again, put the glue on the cardboard, on our flower. Then a bit on our leather. And connect parts together. It is very important to use soft glue. I have here Moment Crystal. As then after we finish our edge, I will create a ring out of it. So I will need to connect two parts together, this part and uh, ring base, what we will make in next tutorial. And that's why I need my glue flexible. That's why be careful and don't use super glue. Cut out our embroidery. Leave around one millimeter of leather all over our embroidery. Now I take a thread, I will secure it inside my embroidery and I will start to finish my edge. Come out from the felt. Take one seed bead, pierce leather and felt, and go into the same seed bead from right side to the left. Take one more seed bead. Pierce leather and felt. And enter again. From right side to the left. Again one more. You skip a bit of space. Pierce leather and felt and enter like from the right side to the left.
when we will finish all our edge we will enter to all of these seed beads all around and our edge will look like this like a one extra seed bead row again take one pierce and then turn to the same bead we continue the same all over our flower When you will be in between of two leaves, you don't need to go all over here. Just have to skip. Here there will be no stitches. And you make a stitch on the next leaf. And you continue as usual. I almost finished to sew on my seed beads. Just a few stitches left. Now I will check will be there enough space to sew on one more bead and I think yes, I will sew on my last seed bead. And what I will do next, I will pass through all edge seed beads with my needle and thread to connect them together. And last part, as you can see my thread became very short, but I will try my best to finish my outline with short thread. This is the last part of my outline. Now outline is connected with one thread I will pull it just a bit down then if you have the same problem as I have here that my thread is very short I will 
with empty needle I will pass into my embroidery this way and I will pass with the thread in the needle in this way and then I will try to pass one more time to secure my thread I will be very careful with my short tail and last one through the same spot that's it, I will pull and cut my thread our embroidered flower is ready if you want to create an earring out of it you can connect hook from one of the sides and make it as a mono earring or you can glue on clip-on element if you want still to make it as a brooch you can glue on magnetic clasp here in today's video i will show you how to finish back side of your embroidery in this case i have a brooch so i will show you how to attach a pin and how to sew on leather Let's start. We take our cardboard and we circle our embroidery. We will need to cut it a bit smaller. So I will just put the extra line on my cardboard. And I will cut it out. Our cardboard is ready, now we will need to glue it to our embroidery. Put the glue on the cardboard and to the embroidery. Then attach our cardboard to embroidery. Gently press it. Now take leather, eco leather or felt, put our embroidery on it and circle it to the leather. Now take a pin and measure it on our leather. Place it a bit more up than in the middle because our brush is a bit heavy and if you will place the pin in the middle it can go down on, on your jacket or sweater mark your pin from both sides then fold it take a scissors and cut a bit Then take our pin and enter into these holes. I will close it for now. Now we need to glue on this pin. Just take a glue. Make sure that your pin is on its place and it's straight. Now take your embroidery and put the glue on it. And on our leather as well. 
and attach our embroidery to our leather. Now we need to measure where is our pin. It should be on its place. You just can check it this way. Press it and wait a couple of minutes. Now you need to cut out our embroidery. Our leather should be the same size as our embroidery. Now we need to finish our edge. To finish edge of embroidery I use size 10 of seed beads, but in this case when my felt is quite wide and the leather as well, I will use size 8. First of all you will need to have around 1 meter of the thread. Make a knot and we start. First of all, secure our thread in between two layers. I will pass through the same spot a couple of times. Then I will put inside knot, come out from the felt, then take two seed beads, pierce leather and felt. and enter to this seed bead from the bottom and pull. At this moment of time first seed bead should be not attached to the felt. We will attach it as our last bead. Take another seed bead, skip enough place to enter with one seed bead, pierce leather and felt and enter to the same bead from the bottom again one seed bead pierce leather and felt and enter to the same bead from the bottom We take two seed beads only in the beginning, then we continue with one. And enter from the bottom. And pull. Again one seed bead. Pierce leather and felt. Pull. 
this way we continue till we get to our seed bead which is not attached to the leather I will be back when I will be next to it now we are about to finish our edge this is our first seed bead and this is my last seed bead I just enter from the top to my first seed bead then I pierce leather and felt and I enter to the same bead which was first one from the bottom and I pull then I enter to the seed bead which is next to it and I will need to secure my thread I will just weave my thread into embroidery a couple of times I will pass through my embroidery here and there and when I think my thread is secured I will just cut it last time and I will cut my thread my back side of embroidery is ready and my brush as well one more technique of how you can finish the edge of embroidery using moulinette threads let's start for this tutorial you will need threads in color what, what you need for your embroidery I, I took grey then embroidery needle I have this kind of embroidery hand sewing needles first of all you, you will need to divide thread in a half so I have six threads inside this and I just split it to the half and I will have three and three make a knot then first of all we will need to secure our thread I will find the place where from where I will start and I just pass to the felt I need to hide my knot inside my embroidery in between felt and leather as well if you are interested how to create a poodle brush I have tutorial as well on my channel I will leave the link below this video and here as well so you can make this brush from scratch so we have finished to secure our thread come out from felt this way and you just sew together two parts very every stitch should be very next to the previous one if you can't do it with the hand just help yourself with pliers and you all the time make a stitches you pierce leather you pierce felt and you sew them together this way try make all stitches next to each other and in one line as you can see from this side it's it is almost not visible how we finish the edge it 
this technique is very good for brushes where you don't want to uh, add extra volume this technique even will be better if you want to use only felt I mean uh, if you want to use a felt for backside as well I have here leather so but you always can experiment and maybe you will find the best option for you it is a felt or echo leather always keep on trying some new stuff and like that you will find the best way how you will create your own creations only trying new stuff you can find your uniqueness Continue the same while you will finish your edge. I will be back to you when my edge will be finished. I have finished my edge. Now I will have to cut this thread. I will I will pass with the same needle and thread inside my embroidery. I will go here and there with my thread and needle and then I will cut it. My brush is ready. This uh, technique is a bit longer than uh, when you finish the edge with seed beads. If you don't want to make your embroidery bigger than it is, this technique will be the best. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like it. Have a lovely day. Bye!